What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a framework in which we can use Mavros plus RD Pilot to control a drone swarm programmatically. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In order to connect multiple vehicles to multiple different Mavros instances, we're going to have to do three different things. We're going to have to have a unique UDP port for each instance and then we're also going to have to have a unique namespace for each Mavros topic that we're going to create and then we're also going to have to correspond each Mavros instance to the um, sys ID this Mav parameter which will then be passed in as target system ID. I've made an example world and uh, updated the IQ GNC functions to help with this tutorial. So in order to get the latest code, please do a git pull in your IQ GNC uh, folder and also do a git pull in your IQ sim folder. Now I'm going to show you guys how we can launch a Mavros instance to connect to our second instance of our drone. So let's go ahead and run this command, which will launch, which will connect to the second instance of our drone. And then now let's take a deeper look at the um, Mavros command to launch for the second instance of our RD Pilot drone. So what this is showing is uh, we're gonna have a UDP address and it's going to be um, offset by 10, which the normal uh, UDP ports are 14551 and then 14555. We're gonna pass the parameter Mavros NS which stands for Mavros namespace, and we're gonna give it a slash drone two. And then we're going to have it connect to target system two, which this corresponds to the sysid this map param. So now if we run a ROS topic list, we're going to see all of the Mavros topics listed with the slash drone two uh, namespace. So, Basically, what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to have a unique topic for each drone such that we can subscribe to each drone and there will be no confliction and we'll be able to know which drone we're talking to on our ROS network. Now that we've talked about how do you stagger the Mavros topic such that each drone gets its own unique Mavros topic, let's go ahead and take a look at our code and see what we need to do to get that to work. So let's go ahead, open up our text editor and then go to IQ GNC slash source and then open up um, square.cpp. And this is basically a program that we wrote in a previous video that basically just makes the drone fly in a square. And we're gonna be using the same function, but for each drone and the end goal will be to get each drone to take off simultaneously and then fly the same square pattern such that they're basically all moving around the square, but staggered by one uh, side length. And in order to do this, uh, we're basically gonna have to trigger this to happen all at the same time. So instead of using this wait for start command, We'll basically just replace it with a set mode to guide it. And the reason why uh, we're going to do this is because in order, if we were going to continue to use this command, we basically have to go to each terminal and um, switch each each uh, each of the drones to guide it. Uh, but instead of doing that, we're just going to assume that the drones are ready to fly and we'll just launch this program for each of the drones all at the same time. And then the um, program itself will just switch it, switch the mode to guide it and allow the takeoff. So let's go ahead and copy in the command that we need, which is set mode guided. And we'll copy that and we'll come down here, delete this and just add this right on in there and save it. And basically that should be it. The rest of the magic is just gonna happen in the way that we launch the program. Now let's go ahead and make a launch file such that it launches the square program for each of the drones all simultaneously. So let's go take a look at the follow along and let's copy all of the launch code and then we'll come back to our text editor, go to launch, and then we'll make a new file and we'll call this uh, multi underscore square dot launch and enter and then paste all that code right in. And now let's go ahead and talk about what all this is doing. So basically what this is saying is we're gonna launch a ROS node with the, uh, within the package IQ GNC and uh, it's gonna be the executable called square and we'll name uh, this node square one. And then we're gonna also pass it the namespace parameter slash drone one. So this is how our program is gonna know uh, to look 
at the slash drone one uh, namespace in our Mavros topics. And that's basically all handled within the init publisher and subscriber function that is uh, within the GNC functions. And uh, that's basically all you really need to do. But for the other two uh, drones, you just increment uh, square two and drone two and so on. Now, the next thing I wanna do is make a launch file to launch all of our Mavros nodes. That way we don't have to type in the command that I talked about at the beginning of the video over and over again for each instance. So let's go ahead and open up our follow along and go down to um, the launch code for Mavros, copy this, and then we'll go to our text editor, go down to um, IQ sim, sim, and then go to launch, and then make the uh, file uh, multi apm.launch. So you'll notice uh, a bunch of parameters and some of these are the same as what we passed in from the command line when launching. So the slash drone one is here under net namespace. And then we also have the param for the FCU, FCU URL and each one of these are staggered by 10. And then finally, the, the target system ID is the same as the uh, this our sys this mav ID uh, param within RD pilot. So now let's go ahead and save this. And then the last thing we'll need to do is build our CatCam workspace, and then we should be ready to run the sim. Now let's go ahead and launch the sim. So let's uh, launch um, IQ sim uh, multi drone dot launch. If you guys look at the follow along, I also have some code that will launch uh, the three terminals that we'll need for this program. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that and uh, we'll make a little uh, bash script. And now we have each instance of RDPilot Pilot uh, spooling up. So now let's go ahead and la launch Mavros. So now if we do a Ross topic list, we should see all of the topics. And you see drone three, drone two, and drone one. So now the last step is to just wait for the uh, EKF2, IMU0, and IMU1 to start using GPS. So it looks like all of the drones are now using the GPS, so we should be ready to go ahead and launch our program. So. Let's go ahead and position our camera such that we can see all the drones moving. And then we will uh, go ahead, make one more terminal, and then we will do a ROS launch, and then IQ, GNC, and then um, multi square dot launch. And boom. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now this is a very simple drone swarm program. And in a real application, you probably want to add a few more things like maybe one of the things you want to share uh, is have each of the drones um, figure out where the other drones are and make some control loops such that they would never uh, run into each other. That being said, this should provide you with enough framework to make more complex uh, drone swarm programs. I hope that by watching the last few videos, you now have the ability to simulate a drone swarm, connect your drone swarm to a ground control station, and program your drone swarm. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.